also new at 11, a father and son accused of scamming elderly women in Goldsboro. Investigators say Jeffrey Allen Wooten and his son Jeffrey Allen Jr. could have scammed homeowners, homeowners up to $60,000. CBS North Carolina's A.J. Janavell is here with the warning those victims have for other homeowners. A.J. Sharon, under the guise of house repairs and construction, police say the Wootens preyed on older single women. Victims tell me they had no reason not to believe the father and son team weren't legit. That's until the bills started to pile up. Think, well, I've been scammed. What am I going to do about it? For months, Martha Humphrey tells me Jeff Wooten and his son, Jeff Wooten Jr., continued to find new problems with the house she recently bought with her husband. Amongst dozens of documents Humphrey kept from the Wooten's 20 visits includes this contract explaining the service the father and son team were claiming to provide and every check Humphrey wrote to them, in total costing her about $52,000. Then in March, Humphrey's husband, a veteran who she moved to Goldsboro with from Maryland to be closer to the base, passed away. But the wounds kept coming, claiming Humphrey's husband had requested more and more services. I said, I don't have 56, and my husband just died, and I have to pay for the funeral. But it wasn't just Humphreys who investigators say the wounds targeted. Neighbors had similar stories. He is just a professional criminal. Judy Metz tells me the Wootens knocked on her door unsolicited, saying she needed new shingles, but this is what she got. Other neighbors claimed to see them creating issues with their houses. They would later claim need work. Uh, that's, that's the problem. It's, it happens so much, and, and unless the victims know that they're scammed in the first place, they don't report it. Eric Goins is the investigator on the case for the Goldsboro Police Department. He says in total, the Wootens charged the neighborhood about $60,000 for work that building inspectors estimated for only a few thousand dollars. And that's if the work was even done. Humphrey tells me she doesn't expect to get any of the money back, but doesn't want this to happen to anyone else. He should be arrested because he charged too much for whatever he did. This was a joint operation between the Goldsboro Police and the Wilson Police. The Wootens are facing a list of charges, and investigators say there could be even more victims in this case. Anyone with information is asked to contact authorities. Sean? Terrible story, AJ.